Good day, students. This is Master Justin for Math Episode in Meribit E-Learning. Before you watch our video, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and hit the notification bell. For today's lesson, we are going to explore the world of real numbers. Before we explore their world, let us first have the list of vocabulary words related to real numbers. Here is the list of the vocabulary words related to real numbers. Number one, real numbers itself. Number two, rational numbers. Number three, irrational numbers. Number four, fraction. Number five, integer. Number six, whole number. And number seven, natural number. All those vocabulary words are related to real numbers. And to understand what real numbers are, you just need to understand what is a number line. In number line, there are positive numbers to the right of zero. And also, there are negative numbers to the left of zero. Students, there are many complicated or hard definitions of real numbers. But here is the simplest one. Any numbers that can be plotted on the number line is called real number. Again, any number that can be plotted on the number line is called real number. Uh, let's take a look at the few examples. Let's say negative 2. Is negative 2 a real number? That's right. Negative 2 is a real number because it can be plotted on the number line. We can plot negative 2 in this point. So meaning, negative 2 is a real number. What about 0 0.5 or 1 half? Even though it is not an integer, yes, it can be plotted on the number line. We can plot 1 half in this point over here. Now, let us look at another number. How about square root of 2? If we calculate the value of square root of 2, we get the value 1.414 approximately. The digits of the decimal point do not end. This kind of numbers are called non-terminating and non-repeating decimals. And yes, this number square root of 2 can also be plotted in the number line. Plotting a non-terminating decimal might sound weird, but yes, it is possible. So square root of 2 is a real number. And what about special number pi? Pi is approximately 3.14159. And yes, it can also be plotted on the number line, which makes it a real number. So that's the definition. Any number that can be plotted on the number line is called real number. Again, any number that can be plotted on the number line is called real number. Now, let's understand the various classification of numbers that come under real number. Real numbers are divided or classified into rational numbers and irrational numbers. Examples of irrational numbers are square root of 2, square root of 3, and pi. These numbers cannot be expressed in fraction. They are also called non-terminating 
and non-repeating decimal number. Okay? Next one, rational numbers. Rational numbers are broadly classified into two types. The first one, fractions. The second one, integers. Fractions are in the form of P over Q. They are numbers like one half, two third, and three fourth. Okay. How about integers? Integers are also broadly divided into two categories: negative integers and zero and positive integers. Negative integers are like negative one, negative two, negative three. Up to negative infinity, no ending of negative numbers. So those are the examples of negative integers. Zero and positive integers are called whole numbers. Whole numbers are zero up to positive infinity. So meaning zero, one, two, three, and so on. These positive numbers also has a special name. They are called natural numbers, which include all positive integers starting from 1. Natural numbers are also called counting numbers. So real numbers include all the numbers you have seen. All numbers which can be expressed as p over q are rational numbers and also the ones which cannot be expressed as p over q are called irrational numbers all the classifications you see are represented by letter names real numbers are represented by r but not all classifications are represented based on its first letter. The rational numbers are represented by Q, not R, because R is for real numbers, and irrational numbers are represented by P, not I. The entire set of numbers is represented by the letter. So Q is an entire set of rational numbers, and P is an entire set of irrational numbers. The entire set of integers are represented by C. The entire set of whole numbers are represented by W. The entire set of natural numbers are represented by N. Let's understand this chart using diagrams. Let this oval be the entire set of real numbers Within real numbers, we have irrational and rational numbers. Within rational numbers, we have integers. Within integers, we have whole numbers. And within whole numbers, we have natural numbers. Okay, so that's the whole world of real numbers. Again, when we say real numbers, it is any number that can be plotted on the number line. Again, any number that can be plotted on the number line. 